Let's move on to our fourth main topic today. And our fourth main topic today gets submitted to us by Ronaldo M, who writes, Did you see the newest poster for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker? It's actually the first time we see anything related to Luke in any of the marketing. I love it. Do you think the prominence of Luke in the poster may hint at how big of a role he has in the movie? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for sending in that question, man. And for those of you who don't know what Ronaldo is talking about, a new the new IMAX poster for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker has been released. In case you haven't seen it, this is our look at it right here. That features four characters. We've got two new characters. Uh, like By new characters, I mean new to the newest movies in Rey and Kylo. And the two surviving original classic characters in Leia and Luke. But as they, Ronaldo pointed out, the key thing here is, this is the first time they've ever shown Luke. They have not shown or even a, a represent any sort of representation of Luke in any of the uh, posters, in any of the television spots, in any of the trailers, in any of the anything. This is the first time they're actually giving us a little bit of a glimpse at Luke. So it raises a question. Is there some kind of meaning and significance to this or... Is this just a very interesting idea for a poster showing the two new, the two primary characters of the new with the two surviving primaries of the old? And they're just putting that together there. Some people take a look at this poster, Rob, and say, it's the four Skywalkers. That means raise a Skywalker and jumping to, to conclusions. Some people are thinking it means that Kylo Ren has grown his hair under his helmet. Uh, some people even looked at this poster, which is, by the way, they confirmed that, no, it is Luke. But some people look at this poster and see if you look at it a certain way, it almost looks a little bit of a profile of Hugh McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi, which, you know what? I At first I thought, that's idiotic. But then I looked at it and it's like, no, you know, I could see that. I, I So I take it back. I could sort of see that, but they have confirmed that it's, it's Hamill. So I look at this poster. I'm thinking, okay, primary question. Is there meaning in this poster, is there not? Now, it should be pointed out. With all of the Star Wars posters and images that have come out since, you know, The Force Awakens was was approaching, everybody has always looked for the secret hidden meanings in the posters. And it turns out there's never been any. Just just something to point out <laughs> that every time there's been a new poster for any of the movies come out, we have always, me included, you included, we have always started looking, where's the hidden meaning in this post? Oh, there's the... Turns out there were never was, and it's likely that there isn't here. So then it brings on a secondary question. Does this poster in any way, shape, or form, because Luke is kind of prominent, does this suggest that Luke is actually going to be more than just a 10-minute Force Ghost presence? Could it suggest that there's more to it if he's going to feature this prominently in it? I'll tell you what my personal philosophy on this is. I think I lean towards the, the simple, most basic solution here. It's the two primary characters of the new with the two surviving primary characters of the old. And that's it. I, I really don't think there's anything more to it beyond that. And I think it looks great. I love the fact how Luke's hair kind of intermingles with what looks like maybe Kylo's hair coming out. I thought that was creative. I love having Leia on the poster. But in as much as I don't think, and we all we already know, Leia's only Leia has less than 10 minutes in this movie. We know that. So, and she's on the poster. And since she's on the poster and has less than 10 minutes, I don't think Luke being on the poster necessarily suggests that we're going to get some big, grand, epic thing around him. Maybe we do, and I would love it if we did, but I'm guessing we don't. Rob, you look at this poster. What do you see? I think it's an awesome poster, but, you know, it's just, to me, it's just marketing. It's, it's, I, I, I'd get this poster. I, I like this poster. I don't, you know, the people that make movie posters are not sitting there necessarily thinking, Ooh, what do we? How how much more meaning can we can we spoil this movie? No, because it's just another piece of marketing. I think it's a nice poster. I have to tell you, you know, I've I've watched every single episode of every YouTuber who's talked a lot about test screenings and all this stuff, and and despite all of that, I actually have found myself getting excited for this movie, John. And I have, I have said, I see a poster like that and it makes me excited again. Now, I have not been a fan of this sequel trilogy at all. Uh, I like Last Jedi more than I like Force Awakens, though. And I think, I don't know why, that we might be getting something pretty great when this movie comes out in less than three weeks, John. Uh, to be specific, 
I'm going to the premiere in two weeks today. And then two weeks and one day from now, I'm going to go see it again. And then two weeks and two days from now, I believe it hits theaters. So we have got a very, or two weeks and three days, whatever. We, you're right. It's less than three weeks away. We're going to find out. It's very exciting. But listen, guys, I wanted to know what you guys thought about this. So I made this the topic of today's question of the day. So just before the show started, I threw up on Twitter this little, uh, a little question asking you guys, what do you make of this poster? Again, I just put this up, and right now, almost a thousand of you guys have already responded to it. And the question was simply, with Luke featured on the new poster for Rise of Skywalker, do you think there is hidden meaning in the image, or that it's just a promotional image, or that it's uh, you know, or just, you know, the two old ones, the two new ones? Right now, sixty-eight percent of you guys are saying it is just a promo image, a nice promo image, but just a promo image. But a solid 32% of you guys right now are thinking, you know what? There could be more to this altogether. You know, it's called Rise of Skywalker. The three other Skywalkers. Is that saying that Rey is a Skywalker? Luke's so prominent. He doesn't look like a ghost. Is Luke back in the flesh? I mean, a lot of people looking for a lot of meaning. Me too. But 32% of you are saying there could be hidden meaning. So I'm going to leave this up for the rest of the day, guys. Question is, what do you think about the image? Do you think there's hidden meaning in it? Or do you think not? It's just a good, solid image to promote the movie. How do you guys see it? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right.